completely dedicated to this uh, purpose of the foundation. Good, great. Yeah, we we created in, in our company many years ago uh, a center to uh, to train people. You know, plumbers and and uh, for weldings, for uh, engineers, for medium training staff, and uh, it is professional training. Exactly, but in this in this center, the foundation have a special place. That means they have. Uh, access to that rooms. They have an office there. We have two ladies employee uh, qualify for public relation. And uh, these ladies uh, do 24 hours uh, uh, all year, only uh, working only for, for the foundation. That mm -hmm. means there is nothing to do with the company, with our water supply. And uh, they are focused on, on dedicated only to the foundation and only to this action. Very good, very good, nice. It's good to hear that you have that. A lot of uh, utilities nowadays have such an activity, but this is excellent to hear. Okay, so uh, before we continue, uh, let me introduce Ram. Ram here is uh, Dr. Ram Neyman, is our very effective, young but very effective, uh, coordinator and manager of the uh, international activity uh, has uh, done uh, excellent work. He's just completing his PhD education um, on uh, cognitive sciences and uh, he has managed the uh, international activity and has done, bright, uh, done this brightly and uh, very wisely. And uh, myself, uh, uh, I'm Amnon Shefi, I'm the founder of HITECH and uh, I am uh, from the high tech from uh, I'm an electronics engineer and my PhD is in electronics. I, I worked under the water with the, the Navy mostly, and then in the medical area and the communication area, so a lot of high tech. And then when I was 50, 20 years ago, I founded HITECH with the aim to develop modern education and the modern scientific education uh, is taking current uh, technologies of all areas, but mostly water is a big thing and energy. And we bring it to the classroom through the teachers of the class, of the school in a very unique manner. So in that respect, we were recognized recently by the Rotary as well and other organizations as leading uh, in what is referred to as STEM, standing for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. This is a Multi, um, multidisciplinary area that we, uh, we, uh, we take a subject and treat it from all areas like water, including the aspects of biology and history and chemistry. And so, you know, when you look about a water reservoir, a lot is happening. You need pumps, you need energy, you, need, you have um, photosynthesis and uh, growth and algae, and you have chemistry and but it's one big lake or one big reservoir. So it's a real life problem. So a wonderful opportunity to study the sciences and even a history of how this came about, what people used it for and so forth uh, with a concrete a case in point. Um, so this is what we do and we have been excelling on that. Uh, we've been doing it in 20 years and um, have, re have been recognized by the Israeli government and Ministry of Education who are very, very critical. They don't accept new uh, initiatives very easily from the outside. And after 20, in fact, 22 years uh, that we've been operating since 1992, um, is really a an authority in that respect. So today there is a nationwide uh, science fair uh, at the age of uh, uh, sixth grade, when students are 12 years old, and at the age of uh, 14, when uh, ninth grade. And those two years, they must, all the students in the country must do some research project based on current activities. And this is established across the country. It's mandatory across the country. And we have started it. This is based on our work. Uh, with relation to water and ancient pumps and stuff like this. So uh, this is really what we bring, a very professional knowledge of how to connect between current challenges, be it water or energy and stuff like this, 
Uh, recently, we developed a new piece on Corona area where the COVID became a major problem. And bring this to the classroom as learning material for the teachers. Now, what is unique about it, and this is important to tell to someone like you when you already have some activity on education, what is the difference? What do we bring that is unique? So I will go straight to the heart of it. I will show you a little presentation later, but the heart of it is that we managed to make the connection between these subjects that are very interesting and very important for the young generation to understand. And you as a utility have the motivation that they will really understand where the money goes and what you do. We uh, managed to connect between that and the curricula. It is very important to understand that the school has an agenda. They want to teach mathematics, second order equations, unknowns, algebra, geometry, physics, chemistry, reaction, the forces, Newton law. All of these are in the curricula. Now we as parents, and I now as grandfather, I have five wonderful grandchildren, uh, we really want the children to know English, mathematics, formula, and so forth. So as parents, when we sit there, we want them to stick to the curricula. We want the children to graduate the high school, to be able to go to the university, and to be able to solve uh, differential equations and stuff like this. So we want them to have the foundation. They will not be accepted to the universities if they don't have the foundation. So we are very concerned with that as parents. So the schools and the education system does not want to waste time. They have, you know, three, four, five hours of attention of the students in the morning. And this is the most important budget. Doesn't matter money, it doesn't matter, you know, means, transportation, facilities, laboratories. The most important asset that the school has is the attention of the students from eight in the morning till 12 or one o'clock. After that, you can give them all kinds of activities and so forth, recreational, sports, but when they really want to need to study, this is the time you measure it, it's like gold. And so we managed to show the schools how to teach mathematics through the review of the water supply system uh, and uh, where is energy going into and so forth and so on. So we were able to combine so when you do that, a lot of good things happen. First of all, you get the teachers in the school who know the students and are there and so forth, and quite frankly, are paid by the government. They are paid by the city. You don't have to worry about the pay. Very, very expensive. Most of the money goes into tuition. Tuition is taken care of. And we sneak in the back and we tell them, you know, you want to still uh, discuss second order equations and, uh, you know, parabola and graphs and what have you. Inject some water and look at the water trajectory and at the pump and how, uh, how much energy goes into the pump. What is the speed of the water coming out? What is the angle? Look at the trajectory. Here is your problem in algebra. Here is your graphs, here's your function. On the other hand, this little pump, 12 volt pumps coming from an old car uh, for the wiper, the, 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 and it's 12 volts, so it's safe. It's, so we have a trick like this, and all of a sudden, the children are excited. And if you take them to a facility, which you have a lot, you know, in Romania, on a refinery, where we have a lot of fire uh, danger, uh, uh, risk uh, and so there are a lot of fire extinguishing equipment very impressive you bring them to a facility like this you show them the fire extinguishing trajectory spray some water and all that they are excited they made a visit to a facility they have an experiment and the mathematical teacher and the physics teacher get what they want in a very unique manner so we were able to divide that literally on hundreds hundreds of subjects examples and so forth so this became very very important now a lot of people around the world are talking about stem 
science, technology, engineering, art, and math, how to combine. Very few know how to do it. And to be creative and to be able to do it effectively at reasonable cost with reasonable equipment and so forth. Uh, and this is really where we come in. So on one hand, we have the real important practical knowledge that we manage to teach teachers and to train them and support them and show them how to do it on this subject. And then, of course, there is our uh, excelling uh, situation relative to uh, water and uh, um, what Israel does in terms of water and our ability to show that as a, a, an, a, an example um, of uh, how to take this advanced technology and uh, um, bring this to the classroom in a manner where you can also uh, show the children what the needs are in terms of uh, water, uh, what the danger is and why they need to kill. So this is like in a few sentences, what we do. Now, additionally, we uh, work, you know, across the country, uh, 20,000 students went to our program uh, 15 or 16,000 of them just on water. And uh, we've been operating uh, for, for you know, a long time. This program is, is like almost 15 years old, just on water, you know, we have many other programs. So we've been operating for, for almost 22 years, but um, this, and, uh, and we um, connected with the Rotary who, that had a major concern on water and the Rotary I wanted to promote the awareness uh, uh, of, wa of water in general as a major subject. And since we work uh, with a Jewish and Arab uh, population, this is very interesting these days when we have this crisis going on in Israel, which really is very, very challenging. But just the other day, uh, two days ago, I was writing to all of our teachers. We have hundreds of teachers and school managers, and we work together. Jews and Arabs, and we really managed to make a bridge. So I wrote to them, you know, we have a challenging time now, but hopefully our children who know and are used to working together, in fact, we have a group working together now. Uh, yesterday, Ram planted some plants in, in, in a hydroponic system that we built together with Jews and Arabs in Haifa, where, you know, situation is, is, is somewhat better. And uh, telling them that, you know, our children, the children that we educate, maybe are the hope because they know how to work together. But anyhow, because of our ability to work together, the idea came about uh, in some Rotary um, meetings that we had around the water, uh, the big water um, um, exhibitions and the conferences, uh, technology, water technology. And so we had a Rotary meeting around it in 2017 and 2015, 2017 and, and, and so forth and, and, and uh, 2019. And we said, if we can take our activity and promote it to the world in order to increase the awareness of uh, water situation around the world, we may be doing a service. So the Rotary encouraged us to do it. And when I say the Rotary, I mean the top, Barry Rassin, the, the, the chief, uh, uh, the president of Rotary International, you know, in 19, 20, he saw what we do with children. He visited a school in Jerusalem, Arabs and Jews together, and he said to them, you're doing water, you're doing education, you're doing peace building by working together. Of course, it is kind of challenging to be talking about peace building these days and when everything is deteriorating, really terrible situation. But it's within Jerusalem, these areas that we, we did, we had, imagine we have a teacher there in Jerusalem uh, who is friend of mine, and her name, her name is Palestine. And so, you know, we have, uh, this is a very challenging situation and we managed to bridge, to really make a bridge. And so they said, well, if maybe you can do it with children around the world so that we develop their way. So this is why we started the twinning program. Uh, we had more motivation because four years ago we were in Cluj, uh, Florin hosted us, we had a bunch of Rotarians and we came to Cluj and we presented the program and saw the water museum and saw uh, the water utility and the activities there. And we were very impressed and, and they were impressed with our program. And we started to think of 
how we can work together. We didn't uh, just jump on it and say, all right, let's start to do tomorrow. We said, let's see. You know, it's far away. You don't want to spend the money just on traveling and you want to really be effective and so forth. So we took some time to think about it. Florin came over twice, you know, and spent some time with us. He saw what we're doing, took part, you know, active part. You know, it was, uh, Florin is very dedicated, very talented, an excellent friend, but he's very smart and bright. He's not uh, getting, you know, just a story. He wanted to see substance, you know, and to understand what to do. And of course, he has his own program that he started with Flute and, and yourself and others on education and sanitation. So, you know, he didn't come empty handed. He knew the challenges and so forth. And together we were thinking and we said, let's try to do a pilot on this twinning and see what happens. So we divide the program and connect it to a few clubs around the world and so forth. And everything was receptive. And we got a grant from the Rotary International. In fact, we had three grants in a row, very big grants. Uh, and uh, in fact, they, uh, they selected us as the noteworthy program uh, on education around the world. So we were really doing something very well. Running it, managing, reporting, man managing the finances and so forth. You know, it was done very carefully with my background from the high tech and so forth. We know how to execute a program, you know, in a very uh, profound manner. When, when I say we, you know, high tech is an organization, organization of professionals, everybody, you know, very high level. We have three PhD, we have two doctors that went with us medical doctors, we have a large team of, um, you know, professionals with masters and so forth, experts in education and sciences. So really, uh, and we work distributedly around the country. We have 13 people and they're spread around the country and we function virtually together as a company, uh, which happened to become handy when the coronavirus came and everyone needed to function from remote. But we've been doing this for all along. So Together we said, now uh, the way we uh, educate students uh, you know, and teachers in Israel, we can try and do the same. And so we formed this and experimented with it for a year and the results were very, very, very uh, good. Uh, very encouraging, very responsive. Um, apparently the program was right and I will show you in essence you know, what we did, but we basically trained and supported the teachers and the teachers in Romania in Poland, Lithuania, Albania, Kosovo, the United States, and so forth, they trained and taught their students according to their curricula, homologation, the rules, and so forth, because we cannot come, of course, to Romania and teach in a classroom because there are, you know, there's the government. You have to be a teacher in Romania, you have to do it in Romanian, and this, and even if you speak English, you know, you have to abide by the rule. So this idea of providing the content to the local teachers and schoolmasters and working with them, of course, with the agency of the Rotary supporting this entire activity, with the Rotarian knowing the activity and so forth, this becomes, of course, very effective. So we ran this for a year. Of course, the year was much shorter because the corona, everyone was concerned in it with the corona until, you know, um, January, you couldn't speak to everybody, everyone was in shock. And we have a graduation event towards the Mar uh, May, March, where this is the International Water Day, where everybody presents uh, uh, their work. So we wanted them to present a report. Now, what do they do in the twinning? They do some research on water and they uh, talk about the water in Romania and in, in Europe, in the world, and so on. And then we match them together with a school in Israel. And then they start to compare their reports and findings and express their opinion. Well, you have this problem, we have that problem. How it is, what is the future? How do we look at the future? And so now the teachers and the students start to cooperate. First, we taught the teachers in Romania, then we had the teachers working together. And then we also had it with the students. And eventually we have this interaction where the students in Israel understand what is going on in Romania. Students in Romania understand the situation in Israel. We have a lot to show and so forth. And, uh, and this is very fruitful. So our plan is to continue this next year and to do it with more schools. We were operating with four schools in Romania in, four city, in three cities. It was very, very successful, very intense. We had a meeting 
at least every month, sometimes twice a month, and then towards the end, by far more. Then we had a graduation event where we had almost 400 people from all over the world. Now, this event is uh, recorded, uh, and it is recorded in the way that it was conducted. So we have um, a general assembly with everyone, with some celebration and greetings from high level, including the president of Order International, who after two years after his visit came and saw what we did and was very impressed. And he said, this is wonderful. You've actually done what he suggested that we do. And uh, then we had the students present. So we have posters from the students and they presented some video and then we have them uh, present in breakout room, like in real conference, you know, you've been to professional conference, just the same. And then we had a big, uh, you know, funny humoristic uh, uh, quiz for everybody, international competition about water and so forth. Everybody was happy with that. And, you know, conclusion and foresight for the future. And then we sent them, uh, recognition certification for their activity and so forth. Really a very respectful and done in the proper manner. And uh, this is all recorded. And I, we will send you the, the link to the website and you can visit the website as if this is happening now, because we had recording from the meeting room, recording from the breakout room, the posters all. So it's like as if real life presented. And in the website, you can hear about Heritage and you can review some of our programs, see some of the background, meet some of our people, so you get a review. So this is in general what we did. And uh, I want to uh, you know, briefly show you some pictures uh, and, and then uh, allow you to ask some questions before we move over to uh, discuss what we can do together, which really is uh, the purpose of our uh, call today. And so let me, uh, share the screen here for a minute and we will do it very quickly because we covered most of it um, and I think uh, okay um, all right uh, is this shared properly Ram do you see this okay yes it's okay I can see okay very good yes okay. yes we can see it Damian. so so I will uh, go briefly <coughs> through it so uh, so we want to develop the awareness on the water solution and the terrible needs around the world. Uh, we do STEM, as I said, based on water and sanitation, relevant to the school curricula and research project based. We build models and pumps and so forth, very futuristic and cross-cultural collaboration. And you can see our students here. And uh, we have 16 years of operation, eight countries now, 100 schools, you know, big numbers. So we are established now, so you know that it's not something that just, just started next, last year. And it's been recognized as noteworthy project and was recognized again recently in a Water International magazine. And you can see the students from uh, around the world talking together uh, on internet. We will send you this presentation so you will be able to see this video about the program. We will save the time now. This is Barry Rassin talking to a joint class of Ab and uh, Jewish students, uh, teachers in Jerusalem. And this is our goal. It requires a lot of money to uh, improve the water situation around the world. And our idea was to increase the awareness so that we can create more money available for that. The world can do it in years to come because $40 trillion requires a lot of background support uh, from the public. So it obviously is education. And so we train the teachers, we identify local focus areas that are relevant, say to Poland and or Romania and uh, to the school uh, and study the science behind it, if it's physics or math or what have you, and then so see some relevant technologies and develop the STEM project to connect uh, them between the classes. And we really take the STEM and we do a bridge, a big bridge between the school curricula and the industry and the sciences and so forth. So on one hand, you have physics, chemistry, and biology. On the other hand, we have wastewater reclamation, where sewage control, um, uh, seawater desalination, and so forth. And every box like this in the matrix has content that we show how to use and uh, so forth. And then we provide guidance and we can do it from far. We provide content 
the water situation around the world, you know, is very critical. More people with cell phones than with access to sanitation. And it's because we waste a lot of water and you know the water footprint. Now we on the verge of the desert, you know, have developed a lot of technologies to it. And this in essence is what we do in Israel. We reclaim wastewater, we desalinate seawater, we use effective irrigation with drippers and we prevent leaks. Now, not only do we have these technologies, but we apply them properly and manage the system, including the education aspect. So this is in one slide what we do. And we turn this into content uh, for the teachers in Romania and around the world as an example. So it's not as if everybody has to study desalination, but we just show them how you study desalination and turn it into curricular value. There is a textbook called Let There Be Water, which tells the story about Israeli water. And so we recommend that this is bought by Amazon. And this is really very modern courseware and content. Uh, of course, we do it in all languages and now are flowing. And the teachers in Romania started to translate this into Romanian. And we treat saving water, we treat desalination. You see in the desalination, you come to that big lab in Israel before you come to the desalination facility and we maintain the logic. And then what we did this year because of the uh, corona, we took virtual uh, reality uh, films in those facilities so that students can really look around and they feel they are in the process themselves. So we can now take you to our reclamation facilities, to our technology facilities and so forth. So the students from Romania can see how it is and really just use the cell phone and they feel like they walk in the facility. You can look into that, it's on the internet. When you get it, uh, we will save time now, but this is really very impressive. You actually touch the water uh, when you're there. This uh, reclamation of wastewater and the special uh, system and the uh, biology and the growth of algae and the bacteria there, new pumping system, uh, across the country because now we take our water from the sea uh, whereas we took it from the Sea of Galilee in the past. So the entire system now is being reversed. So how this is done and the pump, what are drip irrigations? And uh, by the way, this wonderful young girl students are from the neighborhood in Jerusalem called Sheikh Jarrah. Sheikh Jarrah was at the heart of all of this unfortunate event that unfolded later on. So you see, there are other ways to interact with students in Sheikh Jarrah than by violence. It is unfortunately is the situation today. Uh, but this is when they study, uh, you know, drip irrigation and water. And uh, then we start water pumping and, and what have you. And, you know, water towers and the relevant expense. And then it becomes more sophisticated with hydraulic valves. Again, the same principles of pressure and so forth. So all this becomes educational material including ancient history, and this is 2000 year old, um, you know, well, and we bring the children there and we just ask them, how long will it take to fill up this big, uh, you know, tank? And then they start to measure the size, the dimension of the tank, and the dimension of the little uh, buckets and so forth. And they come up with a number. And then we tell them, all right, let's try it out. And we put a big bucket there and let them fill it out. And it takes a minute to fill it out, 60 liters. Well, how much? Do we need to fill the whole pump? Up? It takes twice what they thought. Well, why? Because the water leaks and it doesn't fill completely. So they do a whole reverse engineering in two hours of this facility and the uh, treasurer of the museum, this is an active museum. The treasurer says two hours in the, in the uh, Antillic uh, Well Museum, it's like two years of physics. So we decided to change the name instead of Antillic, which is those little buckets, we call it the analytic Antillic. So they do analysis there as well. So these are the kind of things that we do. And you know, it becomes very elaborate. You can see the mathematics and the moments and the forces. And you know, this becomes really serious. And, uh, and then we use Lego and uh, very sophisticated pumps. Today, this is an ultra modern pump, you know, with a piston pump and uh, you know, power pack and a motor and then a pressure gauge and a piston. And you have a whole laboratory, hydraulics laboratory there that uh, you, and it's affordable. And then, you know, this becomes very, very practical. So the students really like it and understand. And we provide, uh, you know, there is gear that is very nice, uh, tools 
that connects to the uh, cell phone, and then you can measure pH and you can measure pressure and what have you. Very affordable equipment with support and data loggers. So the class becomes, you know, a science class, and there is one unit here with Wi Fi where all the children in the class can share one equipment, all the children share it because they use their cell phone. And then we bring them to the Technion, the Israeli MIT, the big, you know, school, and they present their project on whatever and, you know, get uh, some competition. And, um, you know, you see a lot of hotel in there. Technion is very lucrative, but we work with all the academia. In fact, we have academia in Romania and in Poland that are now expressing interest to support us. You see wonderful projects losing Lego, chemistry, and all kinds of things. And they report it, you know, formally with posters and, uh, you know, do it very, you know, seriously and are very proud about it. And we support them in the design of the posters and in the uh, presentation form. Uh, and then we connect. This is an example of what we did with Miami, uh, you know, comparing Miami that has a challenge of floods and Israel that has shortage of water. And then the school came here and they spent time together. So you see the girls get friendly very quickly. And this is the WATEC event where we bring students and they hear about challenges from the world, review uh, the technologies in the exhibition, think about solutions and present the solutions in English. And we did this a number of times and everybody's excited, Jews and Arabs together. And last year or two years ago in 1920, Florine and uh, Hotelian from India came and presented the challenges and the students went and saw all the technologies uh, working together uh, and then see the Arab students with Jewish girls and you know, the excitement is great. And then they think about applying the solution, do some brainstorming and come up with solutions, how to apply this new technologies to the solution of the world. And of course, everybody is excited with it. And uh, it's very, very impressive. This is where we got the prize from the Rotary and so forth, the recognition uh, is noteworthy. And that's basically what we did. And you see the leaders of the Rotary in the world uh, greet us. And this is with the Ministry of uh, Water and uh, Energy. So this is basically what we do. We have, uh, you know, 40 clubs around the world. And this is a uh, past president, Barry Rasen, that said we must examine how to take this to the world. And we, when we did, it was really very impressive. So I will stop here because this can go on forever. Uh, the idea is that I think uh, you may have gotten the spirit. Now, let me first of all answer any questions you may have before we proceed. Oh, it, it was very clear and, and uh, beautiful things you, you show me and, and congratulate you and, and, and Mr. Ramna and, and your team for what you do. It's unbelievable what, what, what uh, people, enthusiastic people can do with uh, just a little money, just a little money. And, uh, yeah, that's right. And, but, but we need a lot of inspiration and this is where Florine comes in and they really, he really inspires us because when you have audience that can appreciate what we do and can really turn this into practice and have friends like yourself, you know, this is really where, what it counts. And, and so, so together, it is, I think the, the most important thing is the fact that we are working together, working together and really listening to the needs because you know, your needs are different uh, than the utilities in Israel. The, uh, the schools are different and so forth. So we have to be a very tentative uh, to the local needs of uh, you know, all everybody concerned. And so this is what is so uh, special about the program that we, uh, we really um, uh, are attentive. And, uh, and when we do that, then everything is uh, um, very promising. You know, this is really uh, the, 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 the concept. The concept is that it's not like we have something that we uh, uh, pre-casted and uh, devised. This changes, uh, like for instance, when, when you start out and you have a year like this with the COVID, so right away, you know, you have to operate over the internet or you have to shrink the program because we started late because of the COVID and this and that and so on. So we have to stay open-minded. And although the program is really very nice and has accumulated about 250 chapters, 350 presentation and research topics, this is just the beginning. We keep changing and adapting all the time. So this is what we offer. So what can we do together? Um, 
We think that we want to have more schools, you know, both in Lassi and in your area, and, uh, and uh, be able to uh, make the activity uh, more profound and deeper than we did last year because it was only a pilot. So what we have going for us, we have a lot of credit now with schools, it's successful. We have recorded feedback from schools and we want to do more, we want to translate more content. We translated uh, those four chapters on desalination and reclamation, you know, and, and uh, irrigation and so forth, four chapters um, to English and then they translated it to uh, Romania. We want to do, of course, much more. Uh, we want to provide the, some equipment, you know, like these little pumps and maybe Lego pieces and so forth. Uh, we may want to, uh, of course, we will run teachers training. We may want to bring some teachers over so we can show them around in Israel. Um, depending on the funding, if we have time to bring a teacher from every school, that's nice. If not, we can bring some excelling teachers from Romania in general, and that would be a motivation. Uh, we can come over for a few days to visit all the schools in Romania, you know, not to spend the whole year teaching, but maybe to come over for a few days. And, uh, you know, so this is what we want to do. We want to elevate the level of activity. Uh, and for that, of course, we need two things. We need, first of all, your support in terms of content facilities to be able to see the places uh, to devise pieces of content to take uh, movies and slides and photography of your water facilities, your own pump, your ancient, your future, have some lectures from you and your people. So make it local, you know, we want it to be local. And uh, we want to, to uh, be able to uh, uh, support, get support from you and from others, uh, also financially, because we are, you know, very lean and we really depend on that support. So we do it, you know, very, very effectively and we can do really do wonders, but we still do need to have some financial support. Uh, you know, it's not very significant, but in, in the tune of a few tens of thousands of dollars will get us to, to really uh, run such an activity. And if we have the uh, um, water museums that are available, including in Cluj and so forth, and you may have some facilities and there's an organization, we can record all of that and really bring this uh, to a high level. So that is what, uh, what we think. And now we listen to you. What, you know, what are your needs? What do you want to promote? And so that we can adopt it uh, depending on your need. Yeah, I will come back to what you say earlier about the school and mathematics and that. And I remember when I was at school and I have the proof now with, with the kids, uh, the most interesting part of the school was the lab. When you try to do something in the chemistry, in physics, and, and uh, a few, few weeks ago, we organized a, a night science here. And uh, I must tell you the our uh, leak detection laboratory was the star, was or the star of that night was, uh, was our laboratory. That means the kids love the robots and the TV camera and the, the stuff, the things, uh, the guys have their loggers to listen the network and to detect the, the leaks. And uh, uh, the kids love this kind of stuff. And we need to, to mix uh, uh, testing and, and experience with uh, mathematics and, and physics. And uh, they, they will understand later why we need mathematics and physics because we need to calculate all these these parameters exactly and uh, you know if a robot goes in the pipe and there is such a robot that we had in the last exhibition and the students were very excited in fact what they show is this then you need to calculate you have a battery and how long will it last and you know if you want a double size battery it's going to be much uh, larger and just last night you much know heavier. <laughs> absolutely we uh, yesterday we had uh, Ram was putting on the plants into the hydroponic system. And you know, hydroponics uh, depends on the pump that runs the water. So what happens if you have a power shortage, no electricity? So we put the pump, but before it, we put a UPS, an uninterrupted power supply. So how big does it need to be? How much power? How much uh, uh, current does the pump take? What kind of UPS do we need? and so forth. So we did all that, yeah, you know, this week. So yes, exactly. This is exactly the point. 
And so when more in a lab, when you build a model, you build a system and the children are in charge of it, this is when this becomes very effective. And by the way, building hydroponic system is something very nice and they're very, it looks nice and so forth. And, uh, and it's uh, very impressive and it requires a lot of sophistication and we can guide them and then they can build it in schools using simple pipes, not very costly. So yeah, this is a good idea. Okay, come, come back to, to, to your question. Uh, we, we are open to, to receive any material and uh, it is necessary to translate. We, we can translate it here or if you have translation ready, it's okay. We need to know how to share this and how to, uh, to uh, put you first in, in, in uh, to, to mention your name and your organization there. We are open to, to, to discuss and to collaborate in any matter, which means uh, uh, young people education and, and uh, rising awareness about the scarcity. We have climate change here. Uh, uh, it was winter till two days ago. Now it's summer. In, in two days, the summer arrived and uh, we, we do not have too much water in the last years. That means rain disappear, uh, snow disappear. We face different problems and major problems with water supply. We are blessed, still blessed here in this part of the world with uh, a lot of water comparing with Africa or any other countries in, in the desert. But uh, we, we still need to do a lot of things for the school, because in the school they learn only mathematics and physics, and and, uh, exactly. and the real life is totally different from what they learn in the school. That means, as you mentioned, uh, I would like to know how how from where the money goes, where the money come, uh, where the money goes, how we spend the money, why we spend in this type the money, why why the water cost like that. It's not a huge cost for water in Romania, but. But uh, many people, even uh, people uh, my age says, it's very expensive. No, it's very expensive, depend. Go to Israel, go to, to uh, uh, Arabia and you will see how expensive become the desalinization. And, 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 uh, uh, and desalination, how much energy, because the desalination in Israel takes uh, four or five percent of the energy of the entire country. And also you pay a lot of money to prevent leaks. So as a result, the leaks in Israel are way below 6%. We're heading towards two, two and a half percent as a goal. And it's a fantastic number where in the world it's like 25%. Now this is like 20% of the water, the drinking water that is wasted. So yes, it costs a lot of money to build new pipe, to have pressure reducing valves, automatic valves that reduce the pressure at night so you don't waste water and this and that and so forth. Monitoring, wireless monitoring, so if you have leak, you know right away. So all this costs money, but as a result, you save on water. And so we can show um, where cities in Israel where they did not want to pay high or did not want to have a strong water utility and wanted to manage it the old way with low tariff. And then after a few years, you know, they were wasting so much money they ran quickly to the water utility and said, please come and manage our water system because we pay dearly for the water itself. So yes, this is exactly the point uh, we can. So uh, I think the, the, the best would be that we uh, eventually, you know, interact with the teachers in the school. So of course we would love to interact with you and to have your people get involved and maybe even engineers with knowledge and maybe, uh, maybe uh, Engineer, retired engineers from the facility. We need to teach them a lot. It turns out that engineers were really excited. They want to help, but they don't know exactly how to relate to school students and what is in the curricula and so forth. So we need to train them, but yes, by all means, we can train them and then it can work in last, you know, with your logo, with your support as your program uh, with, with the schools, of course, but the most important thing is that we train the teachers. The teachers need to be aware of it, and it is changing all the time. So, so uh, we can provide you uh, some of the content and translate it and so forth, and uh, some of the equipment, uh, or at least guide you to the equipment. You know, we don't have to become uh, equipment providers, although we get, you know, excellent break from those 
um, maker that we interact with, but help you get this, you know, from Lego or whatever. Uh, yeah, but we, we, we can buy, uh, build up here uh, any type of equipment if you give us the proper idea, the right instruction. Right, uh, right. We, planning, we can build design. up. We can build up here uh, any simple equipment, as you mentioned, either a piston pump and a small uh, battery. And uh, but I will suggest you to to ask Florine kindly. Ask I will kindly ask Florine to to be a moderator for the first months of our collaboration and help my girls and my colleagues to to uh, understand what you do and promote you and promote your material and uh, to try to build up step-by-step -step a relation and uh, to try to understand deeply uh, your commitment and your, your scope. I, I, I pretend now I, I know exactly what you are doing. And after that, if you agree, I will show you a few, a few, uh, a small brochure, which I have it here about our action and to build up a, a relation and a collaboration. And we are open to collaborate in any uh, aspects of, of your, it, it, it looks, we are very, very similar, 99% similar. We didn't uh, touch too much the, the, the school in, in uh, as deep as you do it. Uh, that means to train teacher to, to because uh, we, we don't have the, the the program or the financing uh, properly, but I will come back to what you say earlier. Uh, when when we start the foundation in 2018, and I, in my mind, it was the idea you need a lot of money to do this kind of action and to do this kind of things. But I realized very soon, in in a few months, with small money, with just a small portion of money, you can do great things. For, for kids and uh, to, to and educate young people. That means uh, uh, we, we do a lot of great things with, uh, with uh, just uh, uh, a, few, a few money. I will show you if you allow me uh, just a few- oh, Hold on a minute, just one second. Just, yeah, go ahead, prepare it and I want to see it. Just uh, give me one second. Yeah. Sorry for this interruption. I'm uh, okay. This is. Uh... Uh, uh, I don't have something electronic. That means I will show you the the brochure. This is our foundation. It's called it Arvo. You can find it uh, on on Facebook, and uh, it's just a few. Uh, this is the report for the year 2019 because 2020 was, you know, a pandemia, and uh, we do just a few action. And who we are, and you see here, education and environment, social, uh, professional development of, of the young people, uh, friends of books. We, we buy a lot of books for, for kids, but different books they found on, on the library in, in school. And uh, after that, arts, you mentioned arts, we organize theater, the, the story of, of a drop water, and uh, with yeah, great success on, on, yeah. young, on young people. You know how to present yourself. That means personal development Very important, for, young, yeah. for, for young people, yes. Uh, uh, banks, we organize with banks. People know, uh, needs to know, kids know, needs to know how to-, to uh, Economy work, money. how the economy works. Yes, how to save money, what means a bank account, how to use a bank account, what means credit, what means debit, from where the money comes from the parents usually, but <laughs> what you need to do with them. And of course, have, I think, when, you do, when you do that, you get money from the bank as well, so it's very good. <laughs> yeah, 
conference, ACVO conference, we uh, personal development and, and uh, psychology and gardens of ACVO. We plant trees, a lot of trees, and, and uh, uh, we help poor kids and buy for when the star school starts, a lot of stuff for them, like a uh, like, uh, backpack and, and uh, uh, use things for school. Right. And uh, um, Santa Claus, we have Santa Claus, our day, uh, we celebrate our day in, in uh, and this is our training center. You see, this is our ah, facility yes. okay. where we, we, we host a lot of conference and uh, we are part of uh, Expo APA, the national exhibition for, for water. Florine knows a lot about Expo APA because uh, he was part of, of this event. And uh, we have a social responsibility finally because we, we need to have social responsibility. Some partners in the media and a lot of, of pictures from our, our uh, events. Very nice, very nice. If you have a digital form, you know, a PDF or something, send us it. We I will, of will... course, send you this presentation. Okay, so in practical terms, you see, the thing is this now, this is an ideal time now because this is after the school year and we have time uh, until next year. We are now putting together a plan uh, for next year uh, with our partners around the world. So yes, first of all, by all means, we will be glad to talk to your colleagues and uh, this uh, presentation is recorded. So we will send you a link to the recording. So first of all, you can show them the recording. If they have any question, they can ask Florin. And then of course we can come on board, both myself and Ram, and we've had interaction with people. And if, so long as they speak English, we can explain to them. And so they basically know the background and they can ask questions. And we can show them examples on work on desalination or pieces, or we can also, I send you links to uh, the recorded meetings that we had with the schools in Lassi and in Romania in general, so that not only do they hear it from us, but they can uh, experience it themselves. Uh, the most important thing, I would just briefly, you know, for, for one minute, uh, show you uh, our website, which uh, gives you uh, an example. Um, uh, of, of everything. So it, it just is a very good resource that you can uh, use uh, and uh, go visit and uh, they will find a lot about it. And uh, it's in English and in Hebrew. So uh, hold on one second. I just want to uh, get into the website and show you. So, um, you know, this is a very excellent uh, tool uh, for our purposes here, just one second. All right, so, okay. So you see the website here, and uh, this is in English. Of course, you can move to uh, Hebrew as well, uh, but uh, 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 you, what you have here is you have a, a story of high teach and us and the modern education and about us, and you, uh, you can see our team and you can see the people and get a feel uh, for the background of the company and uh, the education of the people and so forth. And you can see some of the projects uh, like uh, the project on water and other projects that we did in the past that you can see. And uh, this is the hands across water. And you can see that we were in those exhibitions as we discussed, and uh, you can see other projects on energy and uh, projects on other areas. But most importantly, uh, you have uh, the graduation event from last year where you have uh, some instruction on the program flow because the program was very big. So, uh, you know, we had a couple of rooms and, uh, you know, breakout rooms with presentation and how it flow. You came to the general reception, general assembly, breakout rooms and general assembly again and post it. So it's all explained here. But most importantly, you have um, the breakout room presentation where you can actually hear the video and you have a poster presentation where you can see all the work uh, from the students. So it's all there, including video clips and, and so forth. So this is the, the website and uh, they can go and visit the website and explore it 
and we can guide them. And so they can get a lot of uh, detailed information. Uh, and of course, they can speak to Florin. Now, what we want to do in order to be practical, we want to start to take advantage of uh, the school that we have. You, you are correct to saying that you want to promote this gradually, start slowly and so forth. Absolutely, you really need to do this because you need to know what we're doing. I just want you to remember that we have been operating in Romania uh, for like over one year, it's been one year of pilot and then you know a good solid uh, half a year before it when Florin was contacting the schools and trying to uh, interest them and we had interaction. And so this gradual buildup of cooperation with the core target, namely the schools, the teachers, we have uh, over a year of experience with that, overcoming very big challenges like the corona. So you can benefit from that. Uh, we can send you the recordings of the meetings we had with them. And of course you can talk to them so that you have quite some confidence as to how this can interact. So we can start you know, with one step forward and just say that, all right, next year we can want to work, I don't know, Florin will say maybe four or five schools in La or in area and in other areas. You know, I'm hoping that next year we will have you know, maybe 20, 25 schools around Romania. Right, Florin, something to that tune if, if the schools come around, um, it would be reasonable. You know, if we have only 10, that's okay too. But build on those schools that were participating this year that all said they want to uh, continue and expand it. And uh, so we can start think of maybe uh, advancing this laboratory, maybe translating more content. So we can go, uh, you know, on step two. Actually, what I'm saying is step one, we did already last year. And next year we are preparing for step two. And in that step two, we really want to see you involved both in facilities and teachers. We can talk to many uh, people in, in the organization, maybe retired people uh, and see what we can recruit, uh, what kind of facility we can build in the lab. These are the kind of things uh, that we can do. We would need a little budget for that. But th this is what I'm thinking uh, would be uh, the right approach because uh, in my mind, this is a little bit because of my age, uh, the most important thing, of course, is time. You know, the time is really the essence, the most important thing, and we want to really take advantage of what we did last uh, year. Uh, Florin, what do you think uh, should be our next step? Um, I think that we have to, to do it in a similar way as we have started with uh, Cluj Water Utility. Uh -huh. If if you send a, such of uh, proposal idea proposal letter of intent, let's say, to identify uh, the needs of the water utility or the foundation existing to the water utility uh, and the link between our programs and the next step to develop and to, to continue the discussion in um, maybe next uh, couple of weeks with the staff from the YASH utility, which is directly involved, which will work in a permanent way for this, uh, for this cooperation, uh, will be the best to send the, the, the additional information uh, the presentation you have provided today and this uh, document to the, from the beginning to have the, the, next, uh, the next activities to develop in the summertime to be ready in, in the autumn when the school starts to have more schools, to have a clear picture of the training or the activities to be developed together and move to a, a memorandum of understanding or such as other document of cooperation. And in, in, this, in this way, I, I see to be in parallel with the Cluj Water Utility. And if in the next couple of weeks we can have, and I want to have 
uh, another meeting with uh, Timisoara water utility, which is on the west border of Romania, which also has a uh, Romanian German foundation dedicated for the education and for trainings. I think we cover maybe may more half of Romania and let's have a look maybe to Bucharest on some other utility or other part of Romania to cover more schools and more area of uh, water supply. But I think this, uh, these three utilities uh, are the best public water utilities in Romania. All these three cities are university cities. They have a lot of PhD uh, professionals in their company in different fields, wow. economics, engineers, et cetera, et cetera. A, a, a high level of educa professional education uh, inside of the water utility. And they are very open and transparent and uh, it, it, they have a good position in the local administration because they are regional operators. They provide services in two, three counties for more uh, half uh, uh, million uh, peoples, more more one million peoples in this in each area. So we are in the good way, I suppose, okay. working with these three utilities. Excellent, good. Okay, so we have a plan. So we will draft. Do, some... Mihai, do, do you agree this one, Mihai? Yes, yes, yes. Uh... And I will be in touch with you, all of you, to all the, the next meetings. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we will draft something. So we will take the next, uh, you know, one or two weeks to start form some sort of collaboration, you know, ideas. And then we will use uh, following uh, the, uh, our aim is to be able to use the summertime to really prepare seriously. So we will be very quick in terms of uh, forming this up and uh, if you know as, as Florin says if you have a connection with other relevant uh, organizations such as the academia or the government beautiful that would be very nice to interact with them as well so we have a solid foundation maybe a ministry of education or whatever some local uh, functionary but most importantly the schools and maybe we can get some schools to I think the schools will be very excited to learn that we collaborate like this because they were just talking to us now talking together, they know they get a better package. And so this would be our plan. Very good, excellent. Ram, do you want to add anything? You, I said that no, everything was said and everything is clear. Um, no, not at the moment. Okay, very good. Ram, thank you so much. And thank uh, you, Mikhail, uh, very, very much. Uh, and uh, it really was a pleasure. And Florid, of course, knows to, you know, Florid's friends are Maui friends and, uh, you know, he has excellent connections. And so, by the way, I knew that when he said this is his friend, I knew we are heading to a good meeting and uh, we will send you this presentation. It was a pleasure and we will be in touch quickly. Okay. Very okay. good. Thank you very much. Thank bye you. Bye. Take care. Thank you very bye much. Bye. All the best. Thank you very much for your time and we, we see you. You're most welcome. It was very enjoyable. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank, thank you, Mihai. Bye-bye. Salute, Florian. Bye -bye. Salute, merci. Bye -bye.